Hello, everybody. Easy here. A few weeks ago, I noticed a post on Reddit advertising a new front-end project on Android. This is Game Deck by the developer Franz. This application has some neat features, and the developer has a roadmap of upcoming ones, and is very in touch with the community. While in its beta and development, the creator has decided to skip the Google Play Store at this moment, and plans to release it on Amazon and Samsung. Hi, Editing Zoe here. There's a quick update to this. Game Deck will be available in the Play Store, it just needs to go through more testing. I highly recommend checking out the Discord for updates and information in the future. You can find links to the Discord along with the application in this video's description. Without any more preamble, let's get right into this. Special thanks to the developer for providing me with test codes to try out the premium version of this front-end for testing. When first loading into the app, you'll notice three primary tabs. Collection, Favorites, and Accessories. To begin, we will go to Accessories by tapping on it, or pressing L1 or R1. Here, we are going to look at the themes. There are a variety of themes under the Personalization tab, with the default theme being Portal. My personal favorite theme is the Aurora theme, however you can customize appearance to your liking as well. Under Preferences, you will be able to adjust settings, like showing the notifications bar, and more. Tools has some useful features, such as a gamepad tester, dev notes, and a section to suggest features. Below this, you'll see the Custom Apps section. This allows you to import apps that are not games to a separate section. If we go back to the Collections tab, you will see games that are automatically detected as games by the app. If you want to add more, scroll to the far right and select Import Games. For settings such as hiding a game, adding to your favorites, or sorting methods, you can highlight a game and press X or tap the Options button in the corner. You can also long hold a game. When you want to play a game, highlight it and press A. If we navigate to our Favorites section, we can see all the games we've added to our Favorites list here. Another fun option is the Random Play function done by pressing Y. Overall, while in its infancy, I can appreciate this app and hope to see more improvements in development going forward. Thanks again to the developer for providing test codes for me. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment your thoughts on this front end below. If you think someone else you know would like this video, be sure to share it with them. Check out my channel for more Android-related content, and take care.